Hello and welcome to City Skylines. I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, a.k.a. Swifty Spider, a.k.a. Architectnet, depending on where you find me. And today we are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And this is our new mall area, our new shopping area. And today I want to expand it a little bit. I want to um, create some offices. So I'm going to hit tab here and get out of that uh, first person view. And looks like we got a little bit of traffic here, but it's better than it was when it was over here. So I'm going to leave that be. I think that's actually just fine. And let's see, let's go over to here. I think this is the area where I want to put my offices. So I am going to manually lay them out. Uh, first, I need to do like the back end of, of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to just uh, my plain Jane Street. Uh, that's with parking. I don't want to do it with parking. Um, so I'm going to do just a plain Jane Street here and bring it. Uh, oh, let's um, set up our things. I always forget to do this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to just come straight out here. And then, uh, actually I'll even turn the angle off. I don't need that for this part. Come this way. And we can uh, turn the angle right back on. And we'll kind of give it a little S-curve here. and bring it on home but I don't like that angle come on there we go got it there we go that's better now I also want to connect it here I think I press control A to make that work now the downside to doing something like that oop, uh, the downside of doing something like that is now I have these two nodes right close to each other. So I'm going to click on this node, hold down Alt, and bring it out this way. So that way it doesn't, um, keep, uh, it's going to glitch out otherwise. So, so now we have some back roads here uh, just for access to the back end of these buildings. We can also probably get uh, the movement mod here and move these over just a little bit there we go same thing with this one I think it can move over just a little bit oh, a little bit too much um, get these two as well gorgeous okay and we'll leave it at that now The next step, I think, will be to create a little bit of uh, my starting grid. So I'm going to go step it up to this level of road. I'm just going to do the neighborhood roads here. Because um, while they are suburban streets, uh, they're not necessarily just for um, the housing. I think I, I, I really like them when I use them for the commercial and office as well. So I think the obvious way to go would be to just kind of go perpendicular to this road here, like like that. And then we'll also go ahead and do it there as well. So it connects up to that intersection there. <clears throat> and then we can go to our Rico here, go to our office and see what we got. Eco office. Okay, I like it. And turn that anarchy off for the moment. Now this is to do like a roundabout building. I'm not going to do that. The crescent center. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I like that. That looks fantastic. Okay, and not an FBI office. Okay, guys. Seriously, I'm like super serial, guys. This is not an FBI office. I'm super serial. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm... Oh. That one's a little bit too big, I think. 
little bit too big. I don't mind having like this big office building here, but uh, nothing too, too terribly big. Hmm. I think we might do it here. We might have to push it to over here. Yeah, that works. That works actually extremely well. I'm gonna pull it down a little bit though, and I'm gonna rotate it just slightly. It's kind of jumpy today. It's glitching. I think just because my my memory is really starting to suffer. I, I think this city is sadly uh, coming to the end on this computer. This computer's all just not able to keep up with all the um, all the stuff that I've got jammed into it. I mean, I can play it, but it's just starting to get uh, laggy and glitchy. Obviously, that's too big. Uh, that's too big. Let's see, let's go down to here. That could work, but it's supposed to be curvy. So. What we might need to do is create a, a curvy road to justify using that. Let's see what else we got here. That's kind of a neat building, but I know I have it over by my train station. And just like a nice regular industrial office here. Let's see here. And yeah, we'll put it like right there. Another industrial office. I kind of want to put it like back here. Mm. Put it on that corner. Wells Fargo Plaza. I know I've used this before, but in in this particular city. But I'm going to go ahead and place it again. Should I do it there? And there. I like this better. Makes more sense to the context here. I think what I'll do is I'll also I'll I'll kind of move it a little bit and rotate it. Like that. Okay. We got the Century League building. Now I kinda like how it it's matching up with uh, the Wells Fargo building there. So what we'll have to do, though, is we're going to really have to be mindful about how we lay these roads out. So I'm actually I'm going to move this road over. We'll fix this later. I'm going to bring this over here, and I'm going to rotate it to be parallel with that road there. And what this is starting to do is it's starting to create a negative space here. And what we'll need to do as well is we'll need to have something here to, to close that off properly. But um, it's really starting to look great. Let's see what we have here. Now, that might do it, but I don't quite like it. No. 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 That can maybe go over here. Space is already occupied, though. Uh, yeah, that'll work. I'll fix that road up later. Okay, Walker Center. We got. I'm trying to find something to go on the back end over here. Cancer Research Center. Hmm, not big enough. So I need something that's long and thin. So that kind of works. It's not quite tall enough though. Community center might work. Still a little short, but you know what? It does kind of work and it creates a little uh, part of the city here, a little courtyard almost. All right, if, oh, what's this? See, that, I think, actually fits the goal a little bit better. 
only thing I don't like is that open curve. The open curve is just not quite right. Now let's keep looking. Let's this this might do it. Yeah. You know what I think it needs? I think it needs to be double. That's what I think it needs. And I'm gonna take this and move it just like that. And so it's double the size. And that is exactly what we're looking for. So now that's kind of like a nice little protected corner there. Fantastic. Okay. So now that we get that, let's uh, go ahead and add some more roads in. Start getting the interior figured out here. Oh, and I need to also uh, manage this. I keep on saying I'll do that later. I need to actually, you know, do it later. So why don't we curve it around like that? We might need to just move this over slightly. And let's put that curve more like over there. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then I said I was going to mess with something over here as well, because, you know, reasons. Well, um, I don't know why it's been so crazy like that. Oh, I'll control Z that. That's really strange, but here we go. We can do that, and you know what we can do is kind of introduce it like this. There you go. And that actually kind of works. Now, I kind of don't like that all the pedestrians are using it, though it makes a lot of sense. It's really supposed to be like the alley. It's not supposed to be where you walk, but you know what? What can I do? Oh, well. All right. Now, I'll go back to this road here and uh, start it off that way. Um, I think we're going to have a road here, and we'll probably have a road coming off this way as well. There's a kink. Okay, so we want to do it towards this side of it. And I want to take this angle off, because it's not helping me out. So I want it more or less parallel there. And then, I think what we'll do, and we can turn the angle back on for this part, is we'll do another little S-curve here. I don't think that quite got it, so let's Alt and then click, and that kind of snaps it into the angle that we want. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's also run a, a road along here without the angle. Here we go. I wanted it straight. That's what I'm trying to do, guys. Come on. Keep up. Alright. It's wanting to snap over to here. I don't want that, though. I want it over here. So, I'm going to take the snap off. I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the snap on. But then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it to be where I need it. Alt and click to get that snap going, and that's better, right? And then we need to make sure that we do it. Alt and click there, Alt and click here. There we go. So that works pretty good. And let's see. Yeah, we'll need like a road right here, won't we? Or at least right here. Or we can make that into like a little park. I don't know, we'll have some buildings along the road here, but then we can make this into like a little park, little plaza area. So, that's something we could do. What's this say? I think they need services. 
Yeah, they're not happy because they don't have enough services. Whatever that means. In any case, uh, I'm going to just keep going for now. I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. So, let's go back to our Rico and see what we can plop. I'm going to go to the other end. Work my way back. So, the Web Financial Center. It looks a lot like this other building. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same model. It's just a different color. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that one. So close to this other one at least. That one's too small. Way too small. Here we go. Now in that what I just put over here it is, so I'm not gonna do that. Small post office, huh? Um but here we go, we got some just regular office building. See, we had that curved building earlier. It might be a good time to use it. Let's see. Yeah, use something like this and we can finagle it to, to match that curve just a wee bit better. So I think that's a good place to put it. So let's uh, rotate it off a little bit here. There you go. Doesn't quite match this curve, but it'll get the job done, I guess. Maybe we can move it down this way or that way. Does that help at all? No, this curve is just more shallow. So I guess the only way to do that would be to bring that down and give it a, a more of a curve. And give this a bit more of a curve here as well. Give it a little bit of space and we'll put some sidewalk in there. Right now, I don't think I have my anarchy on, but it's not registering as a building here, I guess. So we're going to need to move these away or, or delete them. Um, and I don't mind moving them. Here. Honestly. Get out of my way. Okay. Fantastic. So now we got that building. And actually, it looks pretty good in that space. Uh, really fits that curvy road context. Okay. So what else we got? What's this? Yeah, no. Not going to do that one. Had that Linotech. Maybe that can go here. Or here. Nope, it's too big for that. We'll do that someplace else. Cancer Research Center, which did not work earlier for what we needed, but that works. And we could definitely get it to fit the context better. So we're going to make it parallel to our main Tarantola Boulevard there. And we're going to just bring it back a little bit about right there yeah I like I like that look it looks good to me okay and uh, we got this Baltimore Road uh, what is this uh, where did I get Baltimore oh here it is 2020 West Baltimore so I guess this is a real building somewhere oh excuse me with the the congestion still. Still plaguing me, this congestion. I don't know. There's not a really a great place to stick it. Um, over here, I mean, it's kind of made to do something along these lines here. But I don't even want to put it there, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to. There's no need... I don't like sticking her over here, baby. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Put 
that building right nice and close. And we'll get that community center back in here. building and his companion here. Uh, we're saving so bear with us. Come on. You can do it girl. I'm really worried that it's gonna crash on me. Oh here we go. Okay. Didn't crash thank goodness. There we go. That looks pretty good. We can almost stand to let it just continue on. There. Yeah. Okay. And, uh... That too tall? I think it kind of is. I got that building right there. What else do we have? Well, that looks pretty decent. Fit that right on in there. Actually, didn't I start? Yeah, that's I got that building right away. That's the first building I laid out. Okay, never mind. Just getting off the FBI office. Yeah, we're back to this beginning over here. Did the eco office over here. Got this huge MGM Grand Hotel. And it doesn't even work right. Otherwise, I would have put it in here. Um, but when you put it, it shows that there's transportation that doesn't work. And I don't know what that's all about. But, uh... Yeah. It's, a, it's an amazing looking huge building, but... And I, I got this in my downtown. Uh, I don't know if you uh, follow me on Reddit, but uh, I've actually posted the interior looking down shot of this building in there. So I guess that's it. Know what I can do, though, is I can go ahead and zone some of these other areas. And I'm just going to be really careful with which areas I zone. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And so that'll kind of fill in there as well. And you know what I want to do is I want to connect this up pedestrian wise. So back to our pedestrian roads here, our pathways. And you see what I mean by glitching out? So here they'll walk up here and then they're going to cross here and here, and we can have them come from there. I know it's kind of deleting that one lot, but there's only so much I can do about that. And we'll have them come to, I think, about right here. And again, we're deleting a lot, but there's only so much we can do about that. That's a necessary evil. It'll get rebuilt soon enough. Right, and then uh, we want to go ahead and make sure we have our crosswalks here. So, we need a crosswalk here. And we have that one, but we need... I'll go ahead and stick another one there. We don't need it, but... And we got... I think... I guess technically they're going to cross and cross over here and then come up. Which is less desirable, so maybe what I need to do is I need to move this actually to over here like that and uh, yeah there we go so we'll get more pedestrian access going along that 
we already have a pretty good pedestrian path going right here, which brings people um, in, and there, which brings people on in. So that's all good. Okay. So make sure everybody's got water, and they do, and power is not going to be a problem, obviously. So I'm going to leave that to, to kind of do its thing. Now, I've already obviously suppressed my office. I bet you if I just zone one little bit of commercial, it's going to go ahead and suppress that as well because I have all this commercial. It's just, it for some reason, it's I think it glitches a little bit and just doesn't register it all the way. Um, and so the next thing that we need to do is we need to have some more residential now. I'm not going to do anything more to this neighborhood. This neighborhood is pretty much the way I want it to be. Um, and having it do anything else, extend out, it just isn't appropriate for that neighborhood. So, we got to think, where else can we add neighborhood? Now, we could maybe add a little bit of neighborhood into these hills here. Um, that might be somewhat nice. You know, you need to think about your sight lines. So, um... You know, you'd have nice views of downtown coming on this slope here. Um, you don't want to necessarily have too many views of this area here because it's nothing but industrial. So you want to stick to this side and not that side. And some of this is not necessarily the most conducive to building. So that's the other thing you got to think about. But... You know, I don't know that I want to do it there. I can zoom way out. I mean, perhaps we can expand along here. Because while I don't want to expand this neighborhood, we can expand along here a little bit, perhaps. Um, that wouldn't be too unnatural. And where's our traffic backup happening? It's happening along here. Is it just when people merge on? It just naturally happens at some points, which, well, no, it seems like it's happening earlier. Oh, we get this, the bane of everybody's existence. You go on Reddit, and <laughs> every three posts, somebody's complaining about this behavior of the game, which, it is annoying. Uh, there's no doubt about it. There's only so much to be done about it. Um, you know, I, I do have Traffic Manager... And obviously, I, I manage my lanes quite a bit. But on some level, there's only so much you can do about it. And so this is just a... Think of this as the natural consequence. While it's not from realistic behavior, the way the game and I uses it, I have this managed well enough that I like to think that it is realistic to how Roads would actually back up. It, 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 it is replicating realistic behavior in an unrealistic way, if that makes sense. The consequence is realistic, even if the cause is not. Um, and so, in that sense, you know, yeah, I mean, this this is backed up. Look at that. It is backed all the way the heck up. Um, <laughs> wow. And where are people trying to go? So we're trying to go straight. But I guess it's to get off on this exit here. And they're kind of forced to get into that lane over here. I wonder if I just need to upgrade to a proper freeway or something. Which, if I did, I would do in another episode. I'm not going to do that now. I might, I might do that off screen. I don't know. That, that's a big project. Because <laughs> basically I'm deleting all of this. So I'm going to have to reconnect all of these, reconnect all of those. I'm going to have to really think about how to, to get it done in this tight space here, because this is not really designed for to be upgraded over here. And uh, I guess you'd have to push your rail out, which is, could be done. You could create a parallel rail line there. But uh, you know, a bit of spaghetti going on over here, rail spaghetti specifically. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm 
Well, look at that traffic. Hell would be small. So, okay, well, you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really appreciate you all watching. Uh, next episode, we're going to figure out where we're going to uh, put our residential. We might work on that freeway. And I think I'm going to, I want to put in a zoo here. I want to add a zoo to this place. So I think we're going to work on that as well. All right, guys. Well, thanks again, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye.